In today's video, we are going to do a recipe on how to cook omena. What's up guys? Thank you so much for stopping by to my YouTube channel. In case you're new here, my name is Divan Sogueno and this is Divan's Empire. Thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell to always receive an alert of every video that we do upload in our YouTube channel. Omena is a small type of a fish that is popularly eaten in Kenya, especially by the Luo communities, and today it is eaten by even other communities. So it's a food that is loved by very many people because of its unique taste and flavor. And in this video, I'm going to show you as the simplest way you can cook this food and enjoy it. For those of you who do not know, I come from the Suba community. And Suba is one of the smallest communities in Kenya. We majorly live in Lake Victoria in an island called Mfangano. So that is where we are mostly based. Our major food is fish. And when I talk about fish, I mean tilapia, nile patch, mudfish, as well as omena. I don't know the English name of omena, but meanwhile, we can just use the name omena. I hope you like this video. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, make sure you comment down here so I can know if you've enjoyed this video and if there's a step that you missed out or you never understood, I'll be generous and willing to share with you more on what you need to do. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Since we are cooking omena, we'll need our omena. For ingredients, we'll use tomatoes, onions, we'll need cooking oil, we'll need water. We'll also need a plain trough where to wash our omena. We'll need a sufuria to boil our omena and also a source of heat. Before we continue, ensure your omena is clean by checking through to see if there's any dirt and remove. Light your fire, add some water in the sufuria and then put your omena inside so that it can boil. The reason why we are washing our omena with hot water is to take away the bitter and sour taste in it after many days of preservation. You can add some salt into it to help it with the process of boiling and cleaning and also washing. Five minutes later. So as you all see guys, the, the omena has boiled. Wash it clean, make sure you wash it thoroughly until the water uh, is colorless. After doing so, separate the water from the dirt, some dirt that might have refused to come out from your omena. And the dirt here is at the scales, the scales of the omena. We do not want to eat them because some people might be so sensitive to them, thereby causing uh, some pain in their mouth or in their tongue. After doing so, uh, introduce our frying pan and add some cooking oil to it and then drop uh, one piece of omena just to confirm if the oil is already hot. Add your omena into it and let it deep fry slowly by slowly. As your omena is deep frying, Try to organize and put your uh, ingredients in order. Cut your onions and tomatoes. And so measure enough salt and maybe other spice that you'd love to add. So after some time, you'll notice your omena is golden brown. That means the first process is ready. And then we go to the next step.
take your clean pan, add some fresh oil into it. But as you notice, my cooking oil is not fresh because I've just used the same cooking oil that I used before because we are trying to reuse. We do not want to waste. So once your oil is ready, add your tomatoes and onions as well as all your spices that you want to, to use. As you all see, I've used uh, curry powder as well as garlic powder for my ingredients. Ensure the paste is well cooked. Cover it so that it can steam up. Ensure your paste is well cooked. Once it's ready, add your golden fried omena into your paste. You can as well leave some, as you see, I've left some for testing. Yes, it's not an offense to test because it's also sweet when it's dry that way. So keep turning your omena in your, uh, in your paste until it turns soft. This one will happen for some time. You'll know your omena is ready when the whole paste has covered up the whole omena. Five minutes later. As you all see guys, our omena is ready and it's so delicious. As you all see, it's golden brown and the paste has made it look more yellowish. I tell you guys, it's so sweet. And make sure you do not uh, use a lot of heat to avoid burning. And at the end of the day, this is our end product. <laughs> Once again, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. I also hope that you've learned something new that you had not known or maybe I have added some more knowledge to that which you already knew. Now, if you followed the procedure that I used to cook my omena, then be sure of a tasty food, be sure of uh, eating an omena that is not, you know, no, it doesn't have any form of bitterness because the end product is so sweet, so delicious to the last drop. Hoping you guys have enjoyed this video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up to show me some love so that I can continue doing more videos for you. You know it takes a lot to do these videos. And until next time, this is Divan's Empire. End of discussion. Kwa jili yako.